Good morning to you all and welcome to my kitchen. I just juiced some fruit and vegetables to make a little zingy green juice. Um, this one is actually for my daughter. So I'm going to put that in the fridge and she can have it on her break. And now I just have the delightful task of cleaning the machine. Anyway, the purpose of today's vlog isn't really to talk about juicing. Richard and I went off to Puff Call in the Bongo yesterday. It was a really lovely day, sunny and cold. And we found a, an amazing park up in Puff Call, which we found, we know it's been there, but we've just never taken the van there. And I've got this camera, it's the DJI Pocket 2 camera. And I've had it pro probably 10 months and up to now I've been using it on automatic settings but I've realized that does limit the type of filming I can do so I've been trying to get to grips with the manual settings so I tried tweaking a few things and I am waffling now but essentially I went to Puth Call yesterday adjusted some settings did what I thought would improve got back home last night and aside from a few clips uh, which are all in focus and the lighting is quite right and the drone footage which is actually I'm quite happy with um, the rest of the films are pretty much unusable so yes I do apologize the majority of yesterday's film is gonna have to go on the cutting floor so today uh, is Monday, um, videos go out on Thursday, so I wasn't planning on going anywhere in the van today. So that's why you're here in my kitchen with me and we're doing day-to-day -day stuff. Um, however, I will be in the van a little bit because I do need to clean the van because it's getting to that time now where I want to get my van Christmas decorations up which will be coming up on a future video not this week though this week is the boring stuff and just cleaning it anyway while I get on with the rest of this cleaning have a little look at the video clips that were salvageable from Puth Call yesterday well we've found our lovely location and there's only other, one other car here at the moment but I think they've just lifted a barrier so that's probably why we're on the edge of a very large um, caravan park called Treco Bay and at one time it was the largest caravan site in Europe I'm not sure if that's still the case um, but this little spot is on the point and beautiful as you can see very very sunny I just put the drone up and had a little fly. It's a perfect day for the drone flying because it's nice and calm, clear skies. So hope you can see the coastline and also a little snippet of that very, very big caravan park that we're right next to. Um, so it's time for a little snack and I brought some sausages from home. So I'm gonna cook them in the Ridge Monkey, of course. 
and Richard's bought some bread in town. Uh, so hot dogs for us. Well, the sausages are spluttering away, but not spluttering as such because I've got the ridge monkey with the lid on. So I will lift the lid in a little while. It's really lovely here to sit in the van. We've got literally 360 degree views. Thank you. And you can open the doors here and just hear the sea and look at the waves. Um, not many people here. And also, uh, the distant view of Puthcall Harbour is is really lovely from, uh, from this side. So I'm glad Richard made me come out today. <laughs> Left to my own devices, I probably would have stayed in crochet in again. Hope you were all well, by the way. And um, hope the storms didn't affect any of you. Well, I'm going to crack on cooking these sausages. Um, Richard and I are going to enjoy eating them. And I think then we're going to go for a little explore. So I'll catch you later when we're out and about. Time for a caffeine break, <laughs> nice cup of coffee and a break from editing. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed the clips from Puth Call yesterday. When I came to actually put them together, there did seem to be more than I thought. So yeah, hopefully you got an, a taste of our little breakfast stop yesterday. It certainly was really lovely. And I think this time of year, when we're getting to the shortest day, it's just lovely to make the most of every bit of sunlight, every bit of sunshine that you can. Um, for food tonight, we, we've had a break for a few weeks, but we're back with Gusto boxes. Um, and I, I get so excited when the boxes arrive. Um, I'll probably film a little bit of it today. So yeah, I'm gonna finish off my coffee, um, crack on with the video editing. And I will meet you when the Gusto box arrives. See you in a bit. Good afternoon. We are back in my kitchen and it's dark outside. But my Gusto box has arrived. <laughs> it looks very festive, doesn't it? But as long as I've been having the boxes, which is most of this year, They've always been that colour, nice and cheerful. So I'm going to unwrap that box now and show you what's inside if you are interested. By the way, I am not sponsored by Gusto. Um, it's just simply something that I really like. I find it quite convenient. And I thought some of you might be interested if you haven't tried a food delivery box before. Um, there is going to be a code, I will put a code in the description below, that if you use that code you get money off your first box and I think for the first month. 
and if you use my referral code then I will get some money off my next box as well which would be brilliant so if you are interested do use the code below anyway what else have I been doing since I spoke to you last I did actually manage to get out this afternoon before it got dark to clean the van very much speeded up <laughs> it took a lot longer than this but uh, yeah this is my uh, clip of me cleaning the van come on guys you can keep me company let's go to the van Yeah, so at least the van is now polished. All the grease from cooking sausages yesterday is all cleaned off. And the floor's hoovered, carpet's hoovered. It's clean and tidy, ready for me to start decorating. Well, I think it's time to open up the box. Well, I've opened up the box and I can see something quite exciting. I've got a, I've got some chocolate by the look of it. <laughs> That's so sweet. Oh, look at this. Oh my word, look at that. It looks like a, a Willy Wonka chocolate bar. Anyway, this is the normal packaging. Um, so all the recipe cards are here. So also in the bag then you get these little packets of all the extras for each recipe. They're all coded by um, the number of the recipe. And in, in here there'll be all the sort of ambient temperature items such as um, mayonnaise, um, vinegars, soy sauce, etc. Herbs and spices. And then in the rest of this section is all the fresh vegetables and salad ingredients so yeah i'll put that all in the fridge in a second but i just wanted to show you this and as we are looking at moving house all of these boxes come in super handy at the moment they try and cut down as much packaging as possible so a lot of it is recyclable and then in this little section with this cute little lid in this one then you've got your freezer packs which are just iced water so those can be emptied down the sink and then in here we have all the fresh chilled so as i say lots of chicken this week um so as you can see as i said four meals for four people so this is everything tortillas lots of fresh stuff uh yeah <laughs> a lot of chicken this week it's a chicken kind of week so as I say, you, you really only need um, salt, pepper, a little bit of olive oil, things like that. Anyway, that's my gusto box. Well, I'm going to leave this week's vlog here. Time for me to start cooking this gusto now. I um, hope you've enjoyed this week's vlog. I've tried to mix it up a little bit and put a bit of what goes on behind the scenes in as well. Um, if you do like it, please remember to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell, you know the drill by now. And I will be back next week with another vlog. See you next week and have a good week wherever you are. Take care, bye!